I told you I'll be back with another reaction. I told you we upload every single day. We get better every single day. Like and subscribe. Welcome to the tribe. Let's continue. Uh, I'm going to tell you something that might surprise you. Everything that I say, everything that I say is the truth. And that is a lie. And that is the truth. <laughs> Think about that shit for a couple minutes. <laughs> I just want to see you light up. And then when I see you years from now in the hospital, I... It should have been you, Dave. I quit smoking years ago. <laughs> no, if, if you want some, yeah. Who smokes at that table? You will? I'm going to have to ask the management. Technically, we're closed, right? I can't jeopardize their liquor lights. You see, I can smoke on stage because it's actually considered to be part of my act legally. <laughs> Got and tonight as part of my act she gets to smoke with <laughs> no you don't have to come say you can sit right there but I have to light it for you otherwise it's illegal oh thanks <laughs> And what's your name? Leisha. Leisha? Good to meet you. L I C I A? L I S. Okay, just making sure there's no C I A in that book. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having a lot of strange coincidences recently. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, watch your hair, please. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to burn your hair. That shit would just be. Not bad like... experiences at all. There you go. No, no problem. Feel no better now, don't you? Doesn't that shit feel good and exhilarating? Smoking inside? Yeah. You can't even smoke in England. Or they banned it in Europe. I thought there would be a fucking war. Banned a cigarette. Can you smoke in Korea indoors? I am on the way. Is it expensive, South Korea? Visit it. <laughs> Can I rent a flat? Yeah. How much? Fifteen hundred a month, one bedroom. I, I'm only gonna save a week. Pocket change. Ah. Shit, I forgot you got. You spend pounds. That's like seven fifty. <laughs> I'm on the way. Is it hard to hook up those flats? Reggie, man. Is that Reggie? Oh, my boy. You look just like Reggie McFadden. That's, I'm sorry I did that to you. So the lights are bright. You're a comedian, though, aren't you? You're just a regular guy. Regular people walking. And you're just walking up the street. Just walking on bartender. Oh, you was a bartender at one of the bars around here. And then you look on that little TV screen in the front. I saw you. And you saw me, and you were like, I haven't seen this episode of Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is happening now. <laughs> and you know how to live. You walk right in the door. It's like, I'm just going to get a glimpse of this dude. <laughs> Sir, yes. you are witnessing right now something <laughs> that rarely is seen. Me bombing. <laughs> Fucking Huh? You're right. I do love to watch them. <laughs> Let me tell you something. My favorite comedy. Hey, thank you for being here, man. Like and subscribe. Sorry, I was on the road that fatty. Appreciate you, man. Welcome to the tribe. Let's continue. It is Richard Pryor is still smoking. Have you ever seen this? At the Improv in Hell's Kitchen, about forty minutes long. It was the crowd was freaked out. He started the show. He's like a little nervous. I haven't done any cocaine all day. This is in the 70s house, no. <laughs> and then he started doing these routines about his mom sucking people's dicks. I mean, just like he's crazy. <laughs> you ever seen this? And then he say, uh, I mean, he, he said crazy shit. 
It is weird, isn't it? He says, he says on that tape, he says, he says, never let a faggot suck your dick. Because they'll tell. <laughs> and the crowd's just like. That's just the weirdest. It was so fucking weird. The thing I like about the tape is this. Okay, so he does all these routines. He bombs. You can tell he's kind of nervous because, I mean, he'll say something real crazy. He'll be looking there. He'll say something crazy and he'll look up. Look at crowd, like, just see what it does to him. He starts freaking him out. I can tell he's even freaking himself out, which happens. It was good, though, right? And then uh, at the end, they showed a list of all the jokes. You remember this part? They just, they just cut to it. And it's like a list of jokes and his handwriting, some of the words are misspelled and shit. <laughs> Damn it. Every joke on that list became, like, one of his famous routines. But you could tell it was, like, the beginning. He's just working it out. And it shit stunk. <laughs> Why am I telling you that? Because I need you to know that that Houston rapist shit is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I was still male rape jokes tonight, sir. You missed it. I did jokes about uh, bombs bursting the air and eating sushi made out of Japanese people. I was saying like really crazy stuff, but I don't know. One of these shits might be a winner. Maybe. Useful. The Brits don't think so. <laughs> your comedy is a little different just a little bit when I go to Britain I have to do like they like they like a little more thought or preparation than <laughs> you guys got a little more polish to your shit I think so no yeah. who's your top comic right now yeah. Yeah. I remember Lee Evans from my 20th birthday party <laughs> he was at the Edinburgh Festival that year and he won the Perrier Award the Evans. He was in the Something About Mary movie. <laughs> Smashing. <laughs> he was funny. What did he play? But he's not. He was a guy that. Remember one guy fake like he was handicapped? <laughs> All right, that's it. That guy's actually British. He played American in the movie. Yeah, but, that's that's it, but his name is Lee Evans. But his act. Is very physical. Like to an American, you wouldn't laugh so much. <laughs> like, you know, Americans like guys like Russell Brand, like crazy. We like craziness. We like people to say crazy shit. <laughs> Who? <laughs> yeah, your comments like to act more. And if American comments, they'd be like, you're fake. It's true. <laughs> And Australians, you guys are more like us, as far as your comedy sensibility, because you're a penal colony. <laughs> <laughs> totally joking. Totally joking, sir. None of them. <laughs> Bitch, you're a penal colony. I don't know if that's true or not. It's her. It isn't? Were we a penal colony? I heard that about America. Is that true? That America was a penal colony? And we just rewrote our history. No, we were pilgrims. <laughs> the Eagles colony. No, we was holy rolling. Well, what have we learned in the last few hundred years? I think we've learned that starting a country is a messy business. It just requires a lot of hard work that you shouldn't do yourself. What you should do is import some Negroes. <laughs> systematically dehumanize them. I'm just kidding. That did happen. That happened. I'm sorry, everybody. That happened. And I have an entire miniseries to back me up. And that miniseries is called Roots. And you can probably <laughs> take a look at it. Chicken Joyce. Huh? Chicken Joyce. Uh, according to my brother, he is. <laughs> it's the thing we do. It's actually funny to say that we do that in my house. We call out characters from Roots. And my brother say, I'm Chicken George. <laughs> and I say, I'm Kunta. <laughs> and it's kind of fitting. You know why? Because Chicken George was a strategist who fought chickens and via his chicken fighting skills managed to get himself free and his family free. I'm Kunta, the runner. And I'll come back for you. <laughs> and then I get caught and I'll be like, I was going to come back, but I got caught anyway. So don't worry. <laughs> 
And I guess my sister would be like Kizzy. Remember Kizzy? Remember Kizzy was writing on the table and he smacked it. Shh, you can't read. It used to be illegal for black people to read in America. Did you know that? It's true. Even now. <laughs> Barack Obama has to sneak and read. <laughs> we'll stop it there. Like and subscribe. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the tribe. Finna spark up my fatty. Thank you for watching, man. Be safe. Stay safe.